Hello, I'm Mike Ticino with Emerson, and I'm sharing more tech tips to help you get the most value from your FB Series Flow Computer or FB3000 RTU. Today, I will be demoing how to use the bulk CSV import and export ability with Modbus. Bulk importing with CSV files is also applicable for history and DMP3 mappings as well. To use these features, you will need version 3.7 or greater of field tools. I have a FB3000 RTU for this demo, but the ability to bulk edit mappings using the CSV import and export also applies to the FB series flow computer. To find the CSV import and export buttons, I'll click the Ethernet port on the image of the FB3000 RTU, which takes me to the communications display. Then clicking on one of the Modbus tabs allows access to the map table registers button. Opening the map table registers, you can see there are buttons for import and export of CSV files. If you are editing just a few parameters, the drag and drop method for edits is great to use. However, for bulk changes, the CSV file can be a simpler and quicker approach. You can export the CSV file to use as a template from FB series devices, which are not yet configured or you can export the file from a device with a mapping already in place for editing and reuse. For demo purposes, I've already got a sample map set up for a single DP meter. Pressing the export CSV button, you can see the export menu is quite flexible as it allows you to export every table or an individual table or export to individual files as well. I've opened the CSV file in Excel, but you could use whichever editor you prefer that supports CSV files. As you can see, the CSV file open in Excel matches the table structure in FBX Connect so the user experience is similar. To simply add a single point to the map table, you can launch the point picker in FBX Connect and copy the parameter you wish to use. For today's demo though, I want to use the same mapping for a second DP meter. So I can simply copy over all the parameters which I wish to reuse and then increment their instance numbers. Once I've got the CSV set up the way I want, I simply hit save, go back to FBX Connect, and import that revised CSV file. Once imported, you can see that the mapping table in my FB3000 now matches what I set up. As you can see, being able to edit the mappings in CSV can be a, quite a valuable time-saving feature, especially if you are working on large projects with multiple FB series devices. Additionally, once you have the parameter set up in a CSV file, you can easily repurpose that file for other FB series products, which makes it easier to standardize or template the mappings you use on the products across your FB series deployments. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit emerson.com slash flowcomputers.